so we are going i think a class template and a faction template you don't have any doubt we have completed successfully and uh, when i move on to my uh, function template using namespace okay what is namespace okay actually what they were saying namespace is similar to class what is the syntax for class mom put it in the chat syntax for class syntax for class yes why you went people class class name ha huh? class class name morgan side ha uh, yeah normally uh, what we will do class class name i think i should not put it in capital class class name okay it contains it contains methods and functions it contains methods and functions it contain methods as well as data data also will be there that is body of the class my class should end here this is normal but what is namespace syntax na same thing they are saying what is the keyword used for namespace na namespace okay namespace is the new key i i think it's not a new keyword we have already used the namespace while i am declaring my variable globally namespace namespace name it is similar to your class name how you are declaring your uh, uh, class name na similarly namespace name and here also i can declare my methods and data here also i can declare my methods and data can you able to view i think it's not class space class space class name similarly what is my name space namespace namespace name it also contains both method and data but one thing is here the semicolon should not be that it doesn't end with semicolon like a class does that is the thing it doesn't ends with the semicolon so what is the syntax now huh? i how we cannot give the definition for class class is definitely what class contains both data and uh, methods so if i want to access the data and method i need a object so for the class is essentially similarly namespace means namespace is similar to the top of class but kindly take down this syntax ma namespace today you learn one more keyword namespace space namespace name and it also contains methods and data that is the body of the i think one of you have put yeah sourneshwar yeah class we have a access specifier and very good very good okay have you all uh, taken the syntax for namespace ma only thing it should not similar to the class it should not end with the semicolon that's very very important but similar to the uh, class uh, syntax only namespace namespace name methods and data will be there and it should not end with the semicolon have you all taken have you all taken Shall I clear it, ma? Okay, namespace mainly they are saying to organize like a class. I am using my namespace. So for accessing the class of namespace, I this is the syntax. New syntax. Just note down this syntax. If I want to access the class of a namespace. we need to use one more syntax actually this particular method you are all learning new new uh, thing i think uh, we have one quick thing uh, just put up some of the uh, some of the syntax over here ma sorry some of the um, what i can say some of the keywords in c++ that you didn't use in c yeah put it who is putting maximum keyword we will check it students kindly put the uh, syntax kindly put a, put the syntax 
Put the syntax, put the keywords in C++, not you used in C. Who is putting maximum, we will check it over. Take more, you put only one figure. Keyword that is class, okay. Class is the good keyword, very good. Class namespace, okay. Adipula Ragadarshini, C or C in, okay. Using namespace, namespace, STD, STD, IO.h, A, Nagababu, STD, IO. Class access specified, it's not a keyword. Yeah, I think I win the competition. I have put class, C in, C out, template, endl, virtual, using, std. Okay, this and all. Keywords means. So when you see to that, uh, okay, Rashmita putting asterisk. Okay, but we all know asterisk and all we have used in the C++. See also we have used asterisk, but scope resolution operate, operator we didn't use. So Bharat, Priya, I have to thank you all people. I think one of uh, Rashmita have put public, private. Yeah, very good, very good. Okay. Mogan Sai, all of you, thank you all. Mom. Private, F scan of, F print of, F scan of, F print of, F scan of, F print of, where we studied Rashmita. F scan of F print of we are studied in file. Don't get confused. Yeah. Class name is not a keyword, ma. Uh, Brinda, but uh, correct. Namespace, C out, C in virtual, public, private. Scope resolution operator is not a get operator, put operator. Keyword, na, it cannot be you. Keyword is means keyword. Okay. Don't public, private, protected, all are keyword. That I can understand. Okay. Okay, now you did you take down this uh, syntax, new syntax, namespace, scope, operator, class name. Okay, okay. Now, now, now I'm going to explain the program. Okay, I think I directly uh, take the program and I will explain for you. Okay, this is the program, very simple program. Okay, so I'm going to explain it. I think, uh, can you able to view the screen? I'm changing my screen. Yeah, actually it is available. So you all understand. I'm going to write the program for first advice. Okay. Um, Okay, hash include. You all seen keyword means it is in some namespace. Okay, namespace. My uh, my namespace name I'm giving first. Okay, void. Void. Hello. 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 Void print time. People. Void print. Void print. Okay. Okay. And in that, I'm writing my C out statement. Okay. C out. Hello. Hello. First namespace. Okay. Hello. First namespace. Whether the syntax is correct or not, ma. Whether the syntax is correct or not. Yes. Is it correct or not? Actually, I have done one. No. Why? Endel, okay. Okay, okay. Endel, okay. Semicolon. Morgan side. Yeah. I should not keep semicolon here. 
I should not keep the semicolon here. Is clear? This is my namespace first. Okay. And next time I'm keeping my namespace. And I can create multiple namespace. Okay, namespace second. Okay. And this is hello second namespace. Okay. I think uh, one of you that said, ma'am, you did in 40 end up. Then only it will come in the next line. Yeah, good. That's the correct one. End L and here also automatically my end L will come. Okay. Okay, get over. So I think you people have understand the syntax. Here I can uh, declare, uh, you all know that if I want to declare public, I will have to put public and all that method name. Okay. Second spelling. What second spelling? Oh, okay, okay. Printing only now. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now I have to write my main program. Int main. Okay. We all know if I want to access the uh, object name, what operator I will use? If I want to declare a dot operator, yeah, I, I think. Uh, but uh, similarly here, which operator we will use? I have shown you one syntax. I want to access the method, na, which operator I will use. If I want to access uh, from the object, I will use the, yeah, Rashmita Karim, scope resolution operator. Very good, very good, very good. Vedana, that is also good. Okay. So my namespace is first. Okay. First is scope resolution operator print. Okay, similarly, second. Second. I'm not accessing my class. I am accessing my uh, 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 namespace. So that's why I put directly a namespace name, scope resolution operator method name and return zero. Now, what should be my output, ma? After running this program, what should be my output? If I run this program, what will be my output, ma? What will be my output? It will print to the seventh line as well as 15th line. Hello, first namespace and hello, second namespace. Okay. We will check it, how it is working. Okay, I think I have decreased the same space. Hello, first namespace. Hello, second namespace. Yeah, thank you. So it is printing both. Okay, now, now I'm not giving this. Okay, I'm not giving this. Now, what will be my output mark? If I give first, okay, then what will be my output? Hello, first name suite, only the seventh line. Okay, it will print only the seventh line. Okay, can you understand? And one more, one more thing they were saying, I can declare it actually. I can use, I need not to use the scope, without scope op resolution operator also, I can exit. How, no? the one more syntax is that using, namespace normally we put std now here we have to put the namespace name first okay then i have to remove this scope resolution operator then i have to run the program so it will print hello first namespace but what is the problem now if i'm using using namespace std first and i'm putting second now And I'm declaring my print. You all know, they put print. Now, what happened? Both are having same name. So whether my program will run, it will throw the error message because overloaded, function overloaded is not supported in the namespace. Is clear? When you see that in class, it is supported. When you class, we have seen according to the polymorphism concept, it is supported. But here it is not supported. But if I put print one, and here also it will print one, now it will work or not? 
now it will work or not ma definitely it will work now if i run then it will print hello first name space and hello second name space is clear so without scope resolution operator also i can do it using name space first and using name space second okay and you all know this using name space std is nothing but a global okay without this what i have to do if i am not using this now definitely i have to use std scope resolution operator then here std scope resolution operator and here also std scope resolution operator and here also std scope resolution operator okay now now also my program works is clear but even one of the statement i am not using this std not definitely it will throw the error message so you have to identify the namespace uh, that we declared to for the global a uh, namespace which is used as a class space that will be the difference have you understand this students have you understand okay and if you want to take down this program you just take down you just take down the program
students uh, kindly take the program and uh, try to execute it and uh, one thing i will tell you i will give you one assignment okay the answer for that you wait சும்மா கொஸ்திரீன் Yes, students, kindly tell me the answer for this. Tell me the answer which has to be get. You kindly check it. If this is your task. Do it. What will be your output? Put it your output. Okay. Same namespace concept. Tell me the output. Five hundred, two hundred, current hundred. Is it correct, ma'am? Output is five hundred. Output is five hundred. 
actually uh, 500 200 100 if the answer is correct okay so i think anyone have put uh, 500 200 100 so neeshwar you put like that 500 200 100 your answer yeah saureshwar and mohan sai both have given correct answer good up plus good mark good okay so students you just see uh, we have declared one variable because you all why a name space and all we are going now even though the name collision is there that is one of the main advantage in the name space stb see one variable i have declared inside the Uh, namespace one variable i declared the global why it global na it is before the main program and one variable i declared the main program declared inside the main program so it is a local variable so we all know first uh, scope resolution operator val that's only i have done now first means what namespace name scope resolution operator and that variable name instead of uh, function name that giving variable name so first it will display what ma actually first it will display 500 very good first it will display okay next simply i put val simply i put val val means it will display the local variable 200 okay then scope resolution operator val then it will display 100 very good very good very good i think uh, um saurneshwaran and mogan said i am not put the program on laptop only see this text i said answer okay okay i didn't tell you the typing in the program you won't get but you gave the correct answer uh, some of them said uh, only 500 because three co statements are there now definitely it will print three output statement okay what you said 500 is correct but i have put three co now that's why i uh, Okay. Have you? Okay. Good. 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 I think uh, people have uh, done the thing. So this is the answer: five hundred, two hundred, hundred. Okay. Have you all understand this one? Have you all understand? so namespace is a logical compartment used to avoid naming collision that's why we are seeing so the naming collisions to avoid we can use name uh, namespace that is the advantage so named collision is there whether it may be a global variable or inside the function or class that i can use the namespace and using the scope resolution operator i can access my global variable and if the same A variable I declared inside the namespace. I can, depending upon my scope limit, I can able to access my namespace, whether it is a private or public. That's why they are saying according to the scope, we can access. Have you all understand this namespace topic? Have you understand any doubt in this? This? Have you having any doubt in this? Kindly tell me, ma. Shall I shall I move on to the next topic? Namespace. Have you understand? So I have put up. Uh, namespace actually when you see that namespace will be asked in two marks and there is a probability of asking in four marks also but we have given two program one program it's normally how it will print and then using namespace first before the main program also it will print so that's why i gave and one of your task also given for you okay okay clear now thank you priya okay exception handling actually uh, while we are seeing uh, discussing about uh, templates we have seen functions and uh, uh, function template and class template we don't have this powerful operation in c because a template why what is the use of template ma what is the use of template you put it in chat what is the use of template in c++ main use crystal and clear you have to give me the answer what is the use of a template hey why you are not giving the answer for me i am only teaching for you what is the use of template students yeah i am getting one answer more than one data type yeah ragdarshini variety of data type 
to work on more than one data type yeah swisha jay kanna kanaka lakshmi all are good yeah variety of data type will supported in the template okay did you remember while i am pausing any of my uh, uh, function uh, in c what i will do i will uh, put return type void uh, function name okay and what i will put int a comma int b that only we will use in c when i used in c programming but when i move on to c++ what i can do void okay same fun i can use i can use it for we are using class and right? just you put a comma b alone that's it a comma b alone in c++ okay why because now in c++ we don't whether a may be your integer and b may be your float comma c if i put it may be your character so when you see that why we go for multiple parameter uh, in templates now single parameter will support single data type and multiple parameter will supports multiple data type in a single function that's why we have gone are all of you clear or not so this is in c this is in c++ now you have to understand yeah 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 indrasena that is also that to reuse source code what is the use of variety of data type now we have written a written a greater than b did you remember if i uh, i think i have done for you return uh, a greater than b a greater than b and uh, we have used uh, that uh, uh, i actually uh, i mean uh, a greater than b and and you all know that a and uh, what is this operator a ternary operator b and semicolon and when it ends so that we all know true na a value will be written false na b value will return so that time what i did reusability code na a can be used as a, a b can be integer or a b can be float or a b can be a character so that's why reusability code interesting na have you understand i can use that uh, same code for variety of data type that's why i have asked mainly what is the purpose of template so template mainly supports variety of data type that's why uh, i can use my code i can reuse the source code same coding i can do it for integer float normally when you take c it is not possible why because now we will declare int a comma int b then automatically it will compare only a comma b as a integer only i cannot but here i can uh, declare by using the multiple pat parameter category i can do it for various data types okay why i am telling again telling now same thing now why because now exception handling is another important uh, uh, topic in c++ and this is also one only thing the process of converting error message into user friendly error message that is not available in uh, c so this is one of the uh, how we are saying um, oops concept is there template concept is there similarly error high exception handling exception handling is the topic which is available in c++ you understand and you take down the definition the process of converting the error message into user friendly error message okay now you tell me 1 by 0 what is the value 1 by 0 what is the value infinity okay whether my code will execute this uh, operation whether my code will execute this operation infinity we all know whether my code will execute this uh, part ma no it won't execute yeah what yeah it won't execute but in c++ what i can do now if 1 by 0 is that i can simply say my denominator is 0 my denominator is zero so i cannot perform this operation that i can tell in exception handling that is you have to understand so the process of converting the error message into user friendly error message is known as exception handling so you have to understand exception handling what is this yes have you understand okay now okay you take 
another keywords of exception handling try catch throw this three keywords are very very important you see whatever the 32 keywords you have used the same keywords i have used in c++ apart from that i think today nearly some 10 keywords we are learning new the another three more keywords for handling the exception uh, error handling in c++ we were using try catch throw you take down this one this is one of the important keywords then we will see the program try catch throw you tell, uh, please i think you may uh, understand try catch throw you may try it whether i can uh, execute this code okay i have some uh, problem 1 by 0 infinity is there i cannot able to handle it. then catch then automatically uh, the uh, the throw will uh, throw the error message that is not error message user friendly error message that is converting the error message into user friendly error message is nothing but handling the exception yes all of you clear have you all understand this have you understand yeah have you taken this keywords have you taken this keywords okay so you all understand what is the purpose of try so try statement allow you to define a code of code to be tested okay for errors while it being executed if i have any uh, coding error i can test the code in the try block okay then throw throw means throw is exception when the problem is detected it will create the custom error okay so it will go to the cache statement and uh, the block of code to be executed if an if an error occurs in the try block then automatically cache statement will so that i think you may cannot uh, understand well what i'm telling you so you may uh, understand from this syntax okay i think you please kindly take down this syntax ma try cache throw okay i think uh, throw is not there okay we will see with one of the throw also we will see okay so first we will see with try and catch try catch throw is there i think uh, you may take it the syntax ma try block of code of try some statements will be there okay then throw will come okay throw if there is a problem in this statements this throw exception will come to the catch and in that catch it will handle the error accordingly so this is the way so understand try throw catch please take down this syntax ma it's one of the important syntax we will see it try throw catch yeah try block of code will be tried in the try statements and it with any problem will arise uh, throw exception will uh, throw that to the catch statements and catch statement accordingly it will print the message we will see with one example naga babu are you are turning on your video unknowingly you will have done na yeah have you all understand have you all understand shall i move on to the next slide s okay ah again same thing try block catch block detects and throw an exception catch block and catches and handle the exception okay okay now we will see we will, we are going to uh, see how uh, access is uh, given okay one thing you understand what are the control statement you have studied what are the types of control statement you have studied what are the control statements you have studied <coughs> tell me ma no answers from your side control statements in c mm. if if else nested if ah uh, rashmita told about the if category okay then switch okay 
ओके स्विच केस ओके स्विच स्विच केस ब्रेक ओके 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 ब्रेक कंटिन्यू थैंक यू थैंक यू मार्क एंड आई थिंक वन ऑफ यू कंट्रोल स्टेटमेंट लूपिंग ना ऑटोमेटिकली वाइल कंटिन्यू थैंक यू ऑल थैंक यू ऑल आई थिंक यू आर ऑल इन दैट यू मे अंडरस्टैंड वेल ओके गुड द सेम कंट्रोल स्टेटमेंट व्हाट वी लर्न इन सी वी कैन यूज इट फॉर सी प्लस प्लस इट्स नॉट ए थिंग ओके थैंक यू ऑल ओके सो लूपिंग स्टेटमेंट एंड ब्रांचिंग स्टेटमेंट्स एंड कंट्रोल स्टेटमेंट्स आर दैट not control statement decision statement so control statement we will classify into three category decision looping and branching decision means all if we else in instead if switch case will comes that branching break continue uh, uh, all will comes that while coming to the looping for while do while will comes okay now you see in my program uh, they will have the access only if your age is greater than or equal to 18 only they will give the access okay so just j in age equal to 25 okay i am having you have seen that the exception handling we don't have a class in the main program itself we are doing in age equal to 25 okay and if age greater than or equal to 18 we will say see out access granted you are old enough okay else else throw age okay then that age is passed to this minor okay you all know it is a call by value method i am passing one parameter value to another parameter so automatically what will happen access denied your age must be at least 18 years old your age is for example it will show that so this is the way i think this age 25 na you won't i won't get any messages is clear depending on your age only it will so i think i will execute this program then you may understand well yeah sourneshwaran have put all that good morning okay okay so now i will put this code okay i think uh, i may do it in uh, enter the age will give c out in age is okay okay uh, we won't give it in the program uh, c out you may use backslash n if it is in double quote that is not a problem okay and i see it i am getting my input age okay how it will work okay so if my age is greater than or equal to 18 now what message it will throw ma my age is greater than or equal to 18 now what message it will throw access granted you are old enough okay so definitely it won't go to the catch block when it will goes to the go, uh, catch block when my age is below 18 only so at that time it will say access denied you must have at least 18 years old your age is that means my age is passed to my num my age is passed to my num okay now i will run my program enter the age it is asking enter the age so oh, i gave backslash in afterwards okay so i am saying the age is around 30 okay okay so it will say access granted you are old enough okay access granted you are old enough so you may understand this okay now when i run the program okay enter the age i am putting 14 so 14 means it will say access denied you must be at least 18 years old your age is okay so automatically what happened it will go access denied you may uh, okay normally what we will do ma'am already else print of statement we will have that now that i can process it now why because this kind of thing now you understand that this is for program we have written but when you go some complicated side i have said now 
one by zero infinity at that circumstance i can throw the error message instead of that friendly user message that is exception handling which is not available in c but it is a powerful tool which is available in c++ yes all of you have understand this yes or no yes ma'am okay okay now i will tell you one more program and i will oh. um, okay see this is the best example using namespace std okay you just see i have put up my uh, number int number 10 answer 0 okay try equal to answer number by 0 whether this part won't execute you all know so automatically the throw exception it will pass to here and it will set denominator not to be zero denominator not to be zero i think we will execute the same program how it will execute okay num comma answer okay this is the thing and you all know that uh, i am performing my operation okay we am saying answer equal to answer equal to num divided by 0 whatever the num value that's not a problem that divided by 0 now i have to throw the answer where i have to throw the answer i have throw the answer i should pass to int my number and say i can say denominator cannot be zero denominator denominator cannot be denominator cannot be zero and i can simply say answer is infinity answer is infinity so now if i run my program automatically warning division by zero <laughs> actually you all understand uh, it will throw how come uh, okay you wait there is a try block i think turbo seed will exit ah, okay i think it is showing that answer num by zero actually when you execute in turbo seed will work ma it's a online compiler na that's why it's not supporting uh, when you execute it that because that is the purpose of but you see uh, warning dividing by zero that is it's not a user defined uh, message it will say denominator cannot be zero answer is infinity so if you try it in turbo c it will i think you will see just uh, one minute we will try okay some of them are waiting some of them are left i know you have the afternoon session also you have a class yeah i think uh, uh, why what, one one small thing i have to put i was team.h i have to put and uh, 
one problem. Okay, when, wait once again, I was team.h and I should not put the using namespace std, hash include, uh, hash include, stdio.h I have to put, okay, stdio.h, not stdio.h, ponio.h is essential. Ponio.h is essential. Why? Because now, uh, this I have to put void me, void me, and here I have to put h. Gitch. Gitch. Okay, if I run it, uh, whether it will work, we will see. Try, okay, okay. I think uh, we have to include one more header file. The try is not there in the header file. Okay, okay. I think I will uh, execute in the next program to save denominator. That's why I have tried. Okay, okay, almost. 